Big Boomer Spady. It is me, Kieran, and I'm joined by Uma. Hi. And Nick. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Oh uh, yeah, we're we're back at the mic again. We've got some we've got some we've got some news happening in, in the world. Um and we're we're here to talk to you about it. First, I I want to talk to you about a character that we don't usually talk about in the show because he's not like a he's not a European politician. But um something very European has happened to him. Which is the mayor the current mayor of New York, Eric Adams. Um, who all in all is a bit of a goofball um, in a lot of different ways. Very pro-cop, as you'd expect from a mayor of New York. I think he's already gotten like the record for attending the most like national days. Um, like if, if you are a people group in New York, if you are Slovenians celebrating like Slovenia's national day, he will be there and he will he will cut a ribbon and he will say some things there's been a lot of great like eric adams's ness uh I, I oh think yeah eric one. adams doing the uh the the albanian, albanian. Uh, the albanian eagle. oh he 100 percent has done that no he has yeah has he okay perfect. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i wasn't uh, i wasn't uh, making up a oh what if he did he did do it perfect <laughs> Um, he's the man i mean he sucks he fucking he really sucks but if i was mayor i would do that he does kind of <laughs> like Sorry. if i was mayor of just whatever <laughs> anything um he like also while he goes to these national days he will kind of like talk about like him being that nationality like he, he will go on like to a bunch of confused like Bolivians who live in New York being like trying to convince them that he is also Bolivian. He's like and... Hilaria Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> the political <laughs> version, politician version of Hilaria Baldwin. To, to an extent, but Hilaria Baldwin has picked a lane. And True, yeah, she's, she's Spanish. She's only Spanish, not uh, Italian, Portuguese, yeah, <laughs> Albanian, no, he's not, whatever. <laughs> he's, not ta- he's not going out there talking about like his first basketball coach was Slovenian or whatever, and like New York would be nothing without the Slovenes. Um, th- things of this nature. Uh, he, he's great for the, the odd thing that he says. I think the one that swept the internet recently that I really enjoy is um, his, his piece of advice, which is let your haters be your waiters at the table of success. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> that absolutely rocks. That's, <laughs> that's so sick. God damn it. A normal thing that someone has said who is technically in control and represents um, more people that are in my country Uh, (laughs) by being mayor of New York City. Um, Yeah, so with that said, I want to say that the character of this man is... (laughs) If this was something that you would have in a school yearbook, he would definitely would have been voted most likely to be bribed by the Turkish government. Uh, Fair <laughs> enough. Because, like, when the news... Okay, so the news has come out that he's, like, kind of embroiled with a corruption scandal with, um, like, a, a Turkish-owned construction firm in New York that oh, is, fuck like... fuck off! <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> I, no, it's I think it's also owned by um one of Erdogan's sons. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Didn't one of them like wasn't he spotted in a New York uh restaurant? Didn't we mention that? No, you're you're thinking of the um the son in law who oh, was yeah. put in charge of who was put in charge of the economy, fucked it up and <laughs> went on the lamb. And then was last spotted in a Turkish restaurant in London. Ah, London. Uh, okay, so yeah. I got everything wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you got the spirit the of it spirit. right. <laughs> Erdogan went out here being ha- having having a bunch of children that uh, accomplish nothing but um, <laughs> schemes, schemes and flim flams and various cockamamie uh, 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 fiascos of the sort. Anyway, um, this is this is. 
this has invoked in me a this has re returned a lot of weird information uh um to the forefront of my brain after finding <laughs> out about this which is piece of information number one eric adams also cameoed in a 2017 turkish rom-com movie uh um called new york masali um <laughs> new york what masali m-a-s-a-l-i what york is it masali. what does that mean in english I don't know. Oh, so well, you New just, York is a city. You just you just <laughs> gave me the name in Turkish, and then just you just left me with that. Yeah, it's a movie. All I all I can say is that's the name of the movie in it. Um, I, I well, I've seen the clip. Two, what I'm assuming are villains of the plot, try to get like political favors out of Eric Adams while speaking to him in Turkish. Um, I only know that they're meant to be the villains of this film because when they first appear. In this scene, there's like the a bassoon playing, and it's just like womp 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 womp, womp. <laughs> kind of like oh these guys are like goofball goon characters in this rom com. I understand immediately. Thank you, the international vibe that is a bassoon playing. Um, so like a cartoon, <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, to which a Eric, a, yeah, I mean Eric Adams is a bit of a cartoon, so. Everything about this is Looney Tunes. How does he look like? Hold on. Well, no. Yeah, keep, you, keep talking. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk. You, you, you look up Eric Adams for vibe purposes. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> that is not how I expected him to look. I thought he yeah. would be like, uh, what's his name? Rudy Giuliani, whatever. Oh, no, like no, 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 no. Rudy Giuliani is, is a much different level of, of goofball. Mm. It's his own, yeah. When he dyed his hair and like the dye was just like sweating down his face. <laughs> Eric Adams doesn't have that problem. Now yeah. that you've looked yeah, at him, that's not like, the problem. <laughs> in order to be the mayor of New York, you got to be like an absolute freak in one way or another. You know, mm. I mean, like Bloom, like Mike Bloomberg's a freak in like the worst ways possible. Rudy Giuliani used to be a freak in the worst ways possible, um, still is, but then just like became comically stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so Eric Adams is a part of this cameo in this film, responds to these two Turkish goons by saying, uh, I, uh, uh, you guys from Turkey? Uh, we love Turkey. Um, you know, they say Brooklyn is the Istanbul of New York. We love your food. We love your music. But I don't speak Turkish. We can have a selfie, though. And then they take a selfie and the scene more or less ends. <laughs> And cuts to another scene where I'm assuming the female romantic lead faints, uh, and then the the clip cuts off. I don't really understand the rest of the context. <laughs> the Istanbul of New York, what? Yeah, yeah, the Istanbul of New York. They do be saying that. Everyone, says <laughs> everyone, that. everyone and says you, that. I've heard and you know that. <laughs> and do you know what? And do you know what? The, the great thing about New York is each borough is another mega city. Brooklyn <laughs> is Istanbul. Queens is Shenzhen. <laughs> the Shenzhen of New York. Lower Manhattan, that's like Moscow. <laughs> um yeah, so this is this is this is the insanity that is happening currently. Also, other Eric Adams scandal that I'm vaguely remembering. I'm going to try remember as best I can. He claimed that he was friends with a cop that died in the line of duty, uh, um, and that he ha and he always carried his fo the photo of him in his wallet. This was then like followed up with the the question of, can you show us the photo? <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't have it on him. Then later he got his office to like send to the press a photo of what had clearly been like a recent printout on A4 paper of the one time he met this cop and then he like tea stained it and like folded it a bunch or rather he got like an intern to do that. Oh my, oh, Wait, so he just so embarrassing. Instead of just like, instead of just like a small photo, he had yep. just an A4 a size A4. sheet of paper. <laughs> They're asking for it now. My printer doesn't have photo paper. I've got A4. Or like I guess U.S. letter or whatever size he was using, but yeah. Oh, that is so embarrassing. Uh, oh, I love God. I love when people do like LeBron James style of lying, but they actually have to like prove Follow it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
Oh gosh, that's that's awesome. As if anyone listening doesn't know about all the various gaffes of Eric Adams, we're not going to be the one to tell you about it because he is an American politician. He has just dipped his toe into uh, uh, um, the world of uh, Eurovision definition of Europe, which does include Turkey. So uh, uh, here he is for us to talk about briefly. Um, this also reminded me of... Okay, I'm going to have to send you images. This is in the chat because <laughs> New York is... I don't think this is under it's his the Istanbul. Presidency. It's the Istanbul of 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 the of U.S. I know. <laughs> it's the, it's, New York's the York Istanbul is the, of New York. Yeah, they've been saying that. What can I? What can I tell you? Just it's it's just you and Chevy Chase from the Turkey Cola ads, where he just keeps drinking Turkey Cola and, and becoming, becoming more Turkish. and more and more Turkish. Yeah, it's frightening. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm. Because we're we're recording in Skype, which means I can paste in images, which is great. Hang on. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is this is great. No, um, because in in this in the spirit of New York is the Istanbul of New York. Uh, I also got recently reminded of. Oh my god! I forgot about this. Thank you. Oh yeah, Nick knows what this. Of say? course, Nick knows this. Russia? So, oh no. <laughs> So <laughs> there was a time in New York where um, Turkey bought like a multiracial uh, uh, flash mob with pogo sticks to basically deny the Armenian genocide. <gasps> oh, my God. And I've just sent all the photos I have of this right now. <laughs> what the fuck? What the New. fuck? The pogo sticks? New York, the city's so good they named it twice. I love how then that they could just like try this now and it could probably work because it just says Russia plus Armenia <laughs> and it's just top, it's just yeah. over the uh the Statue of Liberty I mean you know if anything can get the Americans denying the Armenian genocide I think it'd be the threat of Lady I, I Liberty do. engulfed in you know clouds of the words Russia but it is like I think this is genuinely in the sense that New York is the Istanbul of New York, a <laughs> uh, thing I've always been saying. Uh, <laughs> it's actually written on my T-shirt right now. I, I love saying this. Um, that this is the largest city you could probably get away with this in because the second largest city in America, Los Angeles, would fucking punch and kill all these people <laughs> due to their large Armenian diaspora population. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Kim Kardashian yeah. is it's, it's like you've you've like Kim Kardashian and various members of System of a Down have incited a riot against this multiracial like fucking improv troupe. Look at their faces. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like none of them, you know, I guess they obviously they're getting paid, but none of them like stopped and thought like what are we doing, guys? We're doing, <laughs> like, we're doing genocide do denial. Get, yeah. You do not get far in the pogo stick flash mob business by asking questions, Zuma, all right? <laughs> yeah, but I always wonder that from, like, every, like, do you know that horrible video, um, anti-Palestine video that this, like, German comedy, whatever, like, put out of, like, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the, we talked about it last week. Yeah, so... Yeah. Like, there is clearly, like, an Arab um, actor oh, in yeah. it. So it's like, yep. <laughs> why? Like, oh, yeah, why do you that. agree to be in these things? Like, I don't know. I, I Whatever. It's, it's, Uma, it's comedy. It's it's comedy. It's improv. You do not get far by asking questions. Yeah, Just, fair if, enough. If, if someone laughs, it's morally correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that's, satire, that's, so you wouldn't get it. That's, you, yeah, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. Moving away from the fun image that is Kim Kardashian starting a riot. Um, unlike, unlike that Kylie Jenner handing a Pepsi to a Coke. No, a Kendall. Officer. Kendall. Was that Kendall? Please, oh, I don't know. My... Uncultured. <laughs> it was Kendall. It was a Pepsi fucking ad during was, the riots. Yeah. The Black Lives Matter yeah, riot. Well, riots, that was... whatever. Protests. It was clearly like it was clearly filmed before those happened because like yeah, production takes, wasn't yeah, that quick. Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. like 
they still released it and it's like all right come on guys nobody three, thought three, like three. maybe we shouldn't release it like you know guys no no they were all pretty convinced that if we just hand the cops a pepsi we'll fix racism in this country <laughs> and the cop was black as well so it's like what are you doing exactly what are you trying to do here? exactly america's not ready for this no <laughs> It's too woke. Too woke. Yeah. Too woke. Speaking of too woke. <laughs> Pedro Sanchez. The wokest of them all. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, Spain has been a mess this past week. Has it been? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a week already. So, okay. Quick background context, whatever. We had elections in Spain in July. Mm-hmm. Because before that, there were like like um, autonomous community um, elections, like municipal elections, and Pepe and Vox, which is the far the right wing and the far right um, party, basically like won almost everywhere. Mm. So Pedro Sanchez was like, okay, you know, fine, I'll admit defeat. That means that we need to do, uh, you know, elections. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... Um, so he called like what's it called snap elections? Yeah. yeah, yeah. For snap elections in July, they happened. I got to vote. Great, amazing democracy. So. Yeah. And you fixed everything, right? And I fixed that. Yeah. E- I personally <laughs> fixed everything. Yeah, Uma, and you Uma, did this. Yeah, Uma, you're on. <laughs> you're we, have, we have you on the show to thank you because everything in Spain has <laughs> been rocking so much. <laughs> Yeah. It's been thanks to me, guys. You know, you're welcome. Here from Germany. <laughs> yeah, I did Germany it all. controlling Spain once again. Um, <laughs> yeah, you had, to, right, you, 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 had to, you had to move here to like realize like, oh, like I just had to move here in order to gain complete control of another European country. It was that easy. I, <laughs> yep, exactly. I also feel, yeah, they just give you other European countries when you arrive here. Makes <laughs> <laughs> these are a sign. Yeah, European yeah. countries. I run Slovakia. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm like the, I'm the I'm like the Grand Viceroy of Malta. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah. It sucks. No, just that title alone. Everyone keeps dying in freak accidents. <laughs> but my new plan to make Hit Me Baby One More Time the national anthem is going over swimmingly. Everyone loves this. <laughs> Number one Maltese American, Britney Spears. Hell yeah. Um... Yeah. But yeah, so, and then Pepe kind of won the elections. However, they didn't have absolute majority to actually govern. Go- govern. So they did like the, the parliament voted if they were going to give the presidency to Feijó, who was the Pepe candidate or mm. PP candidate, whatever. <laughs> and um, Yo, bro, bro's, bro's the PP candidate? What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but also, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. we laugh, but he is. Um, yeah. And he lost. Mm. And it was really funny to see him lose. He was very oh, mad yeah. about it, very petty. So then the next candidate was Pedro Sanchez again. And today, officially, he mm-hmm. was voted into presidency again by MPs. How did that happen? He basically had to do an amnesty pact with the Catalan parties, political parties, because since like 10 years, basically, some Catalans have been, including since 2017, some politicians have been put in jail or have been in exile like uh, Puigdemont because of the Catalan independence movement, right? So in 2017, I think it was uh, 1st of October, we had the um, referendum, which at the time, the president of Spain was Rajoy, also PP. <laughs> and he, he said that it was illegal. So, you know, thousands of uh, cops were sent from all over Spain to Catalonia to stop it, to stop the referendum. Mm-hmm. And then put them on who was a... Um, Catalan president at the time, he went into exile, basically. Yeah. Because, you know, they wanted to put him in prison. And some Catalan politicians like um, Junqueras actually did go to prison and were there for like five years, something like that. Like quite a, or four, yeah. quite a long time. And yeah, so the conditions for the Catalan parties to say yes to his investiture was mm. an amnesty law. And actual 
um, progress in talking about Catalan independence. Because when he was like reelected again in 2020, you know, he was saying like, yeah, we're, you know, we're going to have a, they call it table of dialogue. Just like we're going to oh, yeah. sit down and just like talk about Qatar independence. See we're going to make the haters, yeah. the wagers at the table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, you know, but that hasn't really happened. Obviously, obviously, hmm. more important things like a pandemic <laughs> happened. Yeah. So I don't yeah. I don't blame him that much in that sense. Sure. However, you know, it's been three years since the pandemic and nothing really has happened. There hasn't been really like any meetings. Um, there's just like there hasn't been any progress whatsoever. So yeah. this amnesty law, besides the fact that, um, you know, the people that are in prison or are in exile will be released or, you know, will be allowed to come back to Catalonia. Hmm. Um, sorry, fucking UCD keeps calling me because they think that I want to give them money. It's like you already took like six <laughs> k from me. Fucking I have money. Oh my god. <laughs> so the yeah, alumni <laughs> office Jesus. keeps calling me. It's always at like eight p.m. as well. What the fuck? <laughs> Go home. Yeah. That's the money hour. That's when all rich people are like, God, I have too much money. Yeah, exactly. They're just like by the fireplace huh? thinking, oh, God damn it. I want to give uh, two million euros to. How's my college doing? Does it have enough money? Yeah, exactly. I mean, actually, yeah, if you think about it, like if there's like rich old people, they're probably like slightly tipsy at this point of the day. <laughs> like, yeah, because they're yeah, all retired. So. They're all retired and they're all just probably like, oh, I'm on my like fifth drink now. So, you know, my yeah. my, uh, my 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 wallet's, you know, feeling kind of kind of heavy <laughs> yeah. i'm saving all this money by buying those really tiny bottles of schnapps from the, from the <laughs> and just keeping a steady flow of those throughout the day just, never you know, drunk na- but never sober just a nagging, what, 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 nagging what kind of, of rich person are you thinking of what kind of rich person buys the tiny little bottles <laughs> <laughs> Rich oh, people no, are like horrible. allowed to own their alcoholism. We have they... poor people mentality. Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, come no. on. I would at least expect a little bit more rich people imagination from my <laughs> from my two co-hosts. Do you not dream I'm... of grinding? No, not I, really. <laughs> never. No. And I, I, my understanding of the alcohol section of any supermarket is that the the locked cabinet with the expensive alcohol in it, the key isn't owned by someone who works there. They actually just give you the key when you're rich enough, so you can open it yourself <laughs> <laughs> and get it. Oh God. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, that was. Sorry, the listeners are like, "What the fuck is this whiplash?" Now they enjoy our <laughs> insights into our rich lives. Into UCD calling, pestering me for money. Us sitting around the fire, drinking <laughs> tiny bottles of alcohol. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, the whole point is that the right, um, in gen- well, the right in general was just not happy that Fejo wasn't elected, obviously. Mm. But now they're even less happy because Sanchez has yes. made pacts with the Catalans, you know, like yeah, yeah. he's a traitor and he, yeah, basically he's a traitor and he's helping the Catalans destroy Spain. That's a whole oh, yeah. like mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I know. Thank, thank goodness. Someone's getting around to doing that. I know. Karen sent me like <laughs> unironically people started making this like, um, I, I can find it. I can yeah, share it the logo. Yeah, yeah. So the logo of Pessoa is like a, a hand holding a rose because they're socialist, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social Democrat. Yeah, logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, the the right wingers started making that logo, but like instead of holding a rose, it's holding a dagger, and it's like uh, separating Catalonia from Spain. <laughs> That's so sick. That and like a pretty good image. If it wasn't Pessoa, I would like. Because Karen was like, do you want this on a t-shirt? I was like, ah, people will think I vote Pessoa. But like, that is a sick you know, image. Um, Can I have it as a sticker? Yeah, a sticker is fine. <laughs> exactly. We can just we can just we I can make a version of this where I replace the rose with the Cornish Bailey logo if you want. Oh hell yeah. Oh that'd be so cool. <laughs> for our for our uh, um, our eventual Barcelona show where everyone hates us. <laughs> <laughs> um 
But yeah, they're really not happy. And then last week, um, because they knew that the investiture of Sanchez was looming. No, sorry, because last week it was when he actually reached the agreement, the amnesty law, yeah. whatever, with um, the Catalans. They, yeah, they really tried to do a January 6th. However, not in like Congress or anywhere important, but the Just PSOE. Some- no, the PSOE headquarters. Which has like what three interns and like, you know, one cleaning person in it at that. I, at I love I yeah. love how like yeah I love how like Spain for whatever reason has real like Simpsons energy. It's like <laughs> it does. it's like oh well you know we couldn't like storm like you know the parliament or whatever that's too much effort but you know like this office building is sure like you know yeah. th- th- that'll do. I was already here. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. You know? I was in the no, neighborhood no. and I wanted to storm like the closest thing that's kind of related to this. It's no, 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 no. They, they're smart, actually. You don't understand because they're playing like 3D chess. Uh, um, <laughs> so what what's happening here is January 6 fails, right? Because they they bit off too much that they can chew. You know, they they storm mm. Congress and they're basically just a bunch of people staring, waiting for like a cutscene to trigger. Nothing happens. So what what they what they do? What they're correct to do? Undefended. Take over Pasoy headquarters. We are now Pasoy. Pasoy is now based. Fuck Catalans. Fuck the Basque. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I is- if I take their base, it just becomes yeah. mine, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. No. Actually, I yeah, own um, Pedro Sanchez now. <laughs> yeah. When you conquer like a base in like a command and conquer game, just like. Pedro yeah. Sanchez turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> like he works yeah. you. The building just like flips itself inside out and it's just completely <laughs> different now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um oh. yeah, so they 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 went there and it's just re- very fucking funny because these people, you know, they love they say they love Spain, they love the constitution, they love um the king. However, now yeah. the king is a traitor as well. Because it is yep. the king that gives the permission to have a president. So it was yep. the king who chose Sanchez as the next candidate. So suddenly they were saying all these things like against the king, against uh, like the constitution, da 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 That it's like they just seemed very confused about what yep. they stand for and who they like and who they dislike. And they also started hating the Spanish press because the Spanish mm. press calls them like far right, whatever. However, the Spanish press, the mainstream Spanish press is with them. And yeah. they started saying chants that we would say in Catalonia, like prensa española manipuladora, which means like Spanish press, um, you manipulate people, whatever. Mm. And that's what we would say in Catalonia during the whole thing. And yeah. we were all like, we should... You know, they should pay for copyright because like they're they're certainly like they they're against us, but they're copying all our chants that we have been saying. And yeah. I just Yeah, but this of course this has happened because um <clears throat> of the like duplicitous and tricking nature of the Catalan people. Um they tricked us into becoming them. Um, they tricked our king, who is secretly Catalan. You know, I, I when think. you trick someone's king, that you also own the king too. That's yeah. like another. That's another. That's another thing that they that's don't tell unit you about. Flipped. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, like. Yeah, everyone's just trying to be the what is it? The fucking uh, uh, missionary unit from Age of Empires. Yeah. Where you just run up to a building, go oh no 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 no, and then like the whole unit converts. I like, mean, yeah. Speaking of missionaries, they're praying every night in front of the office oh, building. Yeah. Literally, oh, they're like trying, they're, they're trying to do it. I'm serious. That's, that's the problem with January 6. That was the problem to Protestant. Now it's. Cal- now it's the Network. Catholics and they're praying and it's very scary because they're crying and you know all of that and um and there's this one guy who thinks is Captain America which is like why are you Captain America in Madrid and Maybe he has like Spain, maybe yeah but <laughs> just, he has, just try this I don't know <laughs> but he's very confused about his cosplay because he has the Captain America shield but he was wearing a Conquistadores, like, 1492 fucking helmet. Mm. Because, you know, Spain. Um, 
And yeah, he was seen there. He was like, you know, I'm very disappointed at the lack of costumes. January 6th at least was like, you know, you had some fashion yeah. in there. Yeah, there was some fun. There's the the um the the shaman I, I last I checked has actually registered to run in a um oh in the like state congress that he's I can't remember, I think Missouri. Uh um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. So he he's coming back. Um, I enjoyed some, there were some clips I enjoyed of, uh, um, I have to look very closely at my phone now. Hang on. Um, <laughs> this is like the fucking old man that I am. Um, I'm going to say, cause it's a really small text. Vito Kias. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Excellent. Yeah. Um, uh, he had a great day where he's like, starts off the day, like tweeting, like, uh, uh um, to everyone who asks, um, okay, the translation of the first sentence didn't work. But the important thing is he said, long live our national police. Uh, and then a little Spanish flag emoji. And then about four hours later, the sun has set and he's been tear gassed. <laughs> it's just yeah. footage of him crying on camera. <laughs> it, was, it just went so viral because he is known on Twitter for being like, he tries to pass off as a journalist. However, yeah. he is... Clearly not. He's just mm. someone on Twitter with sadly a large following. Sure. And he... <laughs> so everyone that has like more than two brain cells hates him because he just mm. like, he will tweet any, f- like all fake info, fake, you know, fake news, and they mm. will swallow it all. And yeah, he is always like, yeah, we love the police. Hell yeah, Spanish police. And then he <laughs> posts this video. <laughs> I don't know if it was him or like someone with him, whatever. But it was yeah. him crying, screaming. I just got tear gas for fucking defending Spade. <laughs> like yeah. Crying his eyes out. <laughs> and it is honestly the funniest thing I have ever seen. Like, it's yeah. just, it, it just, yeah. All of these guys like going, oh, do you know who the fuck was there? Tucker Carlson. Yeah, you met Hell yeah, yeah. So- hell yeah he fucking was. I w- got so mad <laughs> when there I saw his- him. That was that was very funny because it was probably Tucker Carlson in a crowd of the most Tucker Carlson looking motherfuckers on the planet that I have ever seen in my life. So it was kind of hard to notice him. Yeah. Um but yeah, he was there. I'm sure he's going to post a video about it that no one will watch because yeah. it's exclusively on X.com. Of course, yeah. But I yeah. do love how Tucker Carlson has also become the like Carmen San Diego of the right. Like <laughs> in a moment's notice, he'll be in Budapest, he'll be in yep. he'll be in he'll be in Madrid, he'll be he'll be anywhere that you need him to be. He was in London visiting Assange yep, in see? Belmarsh prison. Yep. Um, see? With Stella Assange, who is like the weirdest woman on earth, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm sorry yeah. for what she's going through, but like, <laughs> she has such weird ideals and whatever. But and yeah, and then after visiting Assange, she just decided to go to Madrid. He saw that you know they were trying to do January six, whatever, and yeah. he hopped on a plane. And it was this Monday, and I talked to, um. Like a journalist that was there, and I was like, "Oh, did you see Tucker Carlson?" And he was like, "I kind of like at some point I saw like some people get excited, <laughs> but I didn't know what it was, and I just you know I left." And apparently yeah. it was Tucker Carlson with Santiago Pascal, who is the head of Vox. However, Santiago Pascal doesn't speak English. Yeah. So. How the fuck did they communicate with each other? I think they had like a translator just like trailing behind them while they were oh, taking that selfies. Person's, person's not paid enough. Oh no. Um I like I like the idea of just like because the problem you're seeing in like American politics is this like overly online and overly like weird version of like politics is just like not working for republicans Mm -hmm. i i I heard a story recently of like there was a local republican meeting somewhere in kentucky and they basically got together in a restaurant and watched the like police cam footage of like the murder of um uh, brianna taylor i believe it is oh my god what 
Yeah, yeah. Like it's genuinely insane. And like everyone complained and they're never allowed to come back to the restaurant and stuff anymore because they like hijacked the entire like Bluetooth speaker system so like everyone heard it and it was like really loud and basically oh just Oh my like, god. Yeah, like they they basically sh- like the people organizing it showed like the people coming like a snuff film effectively. And like that is just like where the, a lot of the Republican part, Party is the moment of just like we've kind of gone insane and we also expected all of our like regular voters to also go insane with us, but yeah. then they haven't. Yeah. Um, but in Spain, <laughs> they have. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can totally imagine just like the guy who like like knows where a bunch of secret Francoist mass graves is. He's like in his 80s and then he's just like told to care about some fucking goober called Tucker Carlson. He's just like, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, that yeah. That guy's got a fucking like English name. Fuck this. Oh, yeah, no, like it's it was literally only like the very young online people who knew. Yeah. Like I saw footage of him walking around with Abascal and he was basically just literally like like teenagers taking selfies yeah. with him. Everybody else was like, "Who the fuck is this dude?" Because obviously they're like Spanish rent, like um, like retired people. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. you know, they're not online or are online, but like in Spanish circles. So, um, but yeah, but it's also been very interesting to see the dynamics inside the protest because there's so many people. There's like normal-ish right-wing people Mm. as normal as you can be um and then there's like straight up nazis and they've been like getting in fights with each other (laughs) like literally (laughs) like beating each other up because the nazis are nazis and the other ones are like stop being a nazi and they're like who the fuck you talking about and then yeah but is that is that the uh, is that the classic thing that happens in Spain sometimes of like people being neo Nazis and then other people getting angry be like no we have our own brand of fascism why aren't you doing that instead <laughs> maybe as so well this, yeah this oh, fucking German I hate I hate shit. imported fascism that's just yeah, yeah that's, they're like that, we have local fascism at home you know <laughs> we've got like farm to table phalangism yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah exactly oh yeah also I've seen so many flags with like the phalangist symbol. Obviously, yeah. nothing is being done about them, even no, though they're supposed to be illegal with the new law from last year. But um, yeah, it's it's been a doozy because they haven't even like they're not even that many people. They mm. haven't really like what like Sanchez is present today. That's it. You know, yeah. like what else? And why are you in the office building? Do you think fucking Sanchez is ever going to set foot in that office building? Or like he just misses it for this one night. Or <laughs> like just, like yeah. I, can, I can give that a dodge tonight. You know, I don't need to go there that bad. Yeah, I can, I can uh, work from home. You know, I have a laptop. <laughs> yeah, it's grand. It's, the traffic's unreal at the moment. <laughs> <I can> just, <laughs> yeah, for some it's, reason. it's, I don't know, whatever. I mean, you know, Psh. I um I saw one clip that was circulating for a while because everyone thought it was blast from the past, uh, Isabella Peralta. Ah, uh, but uh, it's a, I was gonna mention that one. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. sadly wasn't it's her. Unre- oh, but it's so funny. It's an unreal clip, though. Like, um, if we can do our best to describe it, can you describe it uh, 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 as best you can? Or? Yeah, I was showing it to everybody in the office, like laughing my <laughs> ass off. Uh, basically. It went viral because they thought it was this uh, very known Nazi, well, Francoist girl um, mm. called Isabel. She's done the Hitler groups, though. She's done the, the... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she goes to, like, fa- uh, fascist rallies and, like, she's a speaker there. Like, she is well yeah. known in, like, the Nazi world and Francoist world in Spain and internationally as well. I think she went to, she went to Germany with, like, Mein Kampf or something like that. She was... I, I seem to remember she tried to go to Germany with like a Nazi flag and they like confiscated it in the airport or something like that. Um, yeah. she's, she's also not the brightest, not sharpest tool in the shed. But um, yeah. anyway, so there, this video went viral that it's like it's this woman that is being arrested. But like <laughs> when they're going to put her in the van, there's a moment that nobody's looking at her and she tries to run away. But she's like looking back while she runs. She's not even like putting in the effort. She's not like she just like, wants to be chased. Yeah, like ooh, you know. I get it. That's fun. I mean, I mean, it's not fun, but 
<laughs> and then obviously the police like grab her because you yeah. know she she only ran like a meter. And yeah, because this is a Looney Tunes ass country. Like it is, yeah. But like the, the yeah, she wasn't even trying. She she wanted to be arrested. And they grab her and they're like, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? And she's like, oh, I just, look, you know, grab my phone. Like, um, I need to call my kids. Da, da, da. And they're like, no, you just tried to run away yeah, from sure. being arrested. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? And they're literally telling her off. <laughs> like, the police. I, it's so why d- So I see that I see this clip with like no ability to understand what's being said, but it's just a very impressive clip because it's it's filmed by someone on the side of the street, so they get the full shot of her like coming out of the van, legging it down the street, and like getting caught pretty much immediately. Because this is this is the branch of the Spanish police that actually like work out or whatever. They're yeah, not they're, they're like, the riot police. Like they're yeah. fucking massive. This isn't your chief Wiggums of the world kind of shit. Like this is yeah. Um, so she's immediately caught. I don't understand any of this, but just like I don't understand why, like, when a cop asks you why you did that, why you respond with anything other than just like, "Well, come on, I had to chance it." Like, really? <laughs> like, but you're just like, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's just so funny because they're like telling her off, like they're so annoyed. Like, why did you do that? They're just like, I need to call like, my yeah, children. Why do you? Why do you? Yeah. Why do you think? <laughs> yeah, just, oh yeah i'm going to jail <laughs> i'd rather i not. would rather not yeah <laughs> yeah oh god damn it um it's been fun and now yeah and now pedro sanchez is officially a uh, uh, prime minister president of the congress or whatever He's gonna it is. destroy spain baby can't wait yep god, yeah hopefully well, speaking Please. of destroying things <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's let's transition. Oh, may we? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I mean, oh. that's it. Like Sanchez is president. They're trying to still protest. I guess they're not gonna go anywhere. Whatever. The, on- the well, only difference between Sanchez and like every other social democratic politician in Europe is that he actually seems to want to win. Yeah, is like the only thing he is going for them. He doesn't like bend over backwards to like give the right wing everything you want. He's just like, actually, yes, I will be president. Thank you. This rules. Yeah. Oh, that was well, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Go on, go on, go on. It's just like wait. yesterday. Yesterday they were the debates, so it was like him mm. talking and then people like rip, whatever. And it's just funny that you mentioned that he wants to win because he would not stop making fun of Feijo and the fact that he lost. <laughs> And it was yeah. so fucking funny because, like, Fejo, you could see his face. He was trying so hard not to be embarrassed and, like, to be, like, a good sport or I'm whatever. Not, I'm, not, I'm not affected. Like, I'm not a corn cop. Who Don't cares? tell them I'm whatever. A corn cop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, it was just really funny because, like, Pedro Sanchez was just making fun of Fejo and literally, like, laughing. Like, he started laughing to himself <laughs> and the whole Congress was also laughing. It was, sorry, it was just funny. But, yeah. yeah. Speaking of destroying things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, uh, uh, y- you know, I-, I feel that we don't give enough attention to girl bosses on this show. Um, well, this is because of our mandated sexism. It's, our, it's because of the mandated yeah. sexism that, that Kieran and I overwhelmingly passed without any votes of anyone else that this is a, this is 100% the man's zone. Um, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we like to, uh, you know, you know, put some light on, you know, women who are having some pretty, uh, you know, boss like qualities um, <laughs> and destroying the German left is definitely, uh, you know, the corner spatey boss chica moment of the week or I guess oh, yeah. the month, if you will. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, so for those who don't know, if you are not in uh, in Germany, uh, the past few Months now have been quite uh, uh, chaotic for Die Linke, or the uh, the f- their 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 fraction of the party that is in Parliament in the Bundestag. Mm. So there is a. Before we go any further, there is a. You need to have obviously the either the five percent threshold, or you need to have a certain amount of like. Um, uh, what are they called? The like direct, uh, uh, mandates. direct mandate candidates. Yeah. So Die yeah. Linke got into parliament by the direct mandate loophole, not the 5% threshold, mm. like barely under it by like literally like one seat. 
and uh, like they have 38 seats currently in, in the parliament anyway. Um, you need 37 to make a fraction. Well, Zao Wagenknecht decided two months ago, yeah, you know, I want to make my own party before the <laughs> European elections. And just 13 other, well, 12 other people along with her. So 13 people just left Die Linke at the yeah. beginning, uh, like um, at the end of end of September, I think it was, or beginning of October. Um, dates don't matter. What's coming next matters. So then now that there's these members from the uh, former members from Die Linke who are now officially leaving the party, uh, and then therefore losing the minimum that they need of 37 members in the Bundestag, there is the uh, Die Links faction has to then now disappear. I mean, the members in parliament are still going to be there, of course, until then the next election, but uh, the money that they get, the people who work for the faction, all everything like that are like all going to be gone by December mm. 6th. So the future of Die Linke as a party is definitely up in the air because Zao Wagenknecht has now then formed the Zao Wagenknecht Bündnis or the <laughs> Bündnis Zao Wagenknecht technically, so the BSW, which apparently is going to have an official name uh, in the beginning of next year when they have the official party formation and everything like that. So yeah, they're, Germany... They're not sticking with hmm. big Zao Wagenknecht. Yeah, big, big Zao Wagenknecht, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, and that's, I guess, the, you know, overlying, you know, more or less the quickest summary that I can possibly give uh, there. The thing that's very interesting is also the members of parliament who then left Die Linke. They're kind of people who are from like the further left, kind of like anti-imperialist mm. side of things of Die Linke. Some of them are, not all of them, um, which is just quite interesting, I think, from the sense that then Zavangnek's also gotten a lot of fire for her, you know... In the past, obviously, her like kind of red brown ish sort of takes on things. Now, regardless yeah. of how much truth there is or not into that, I mean, Delinka has not been very <laughs> very left wing lately. No, the rest either. of Delinka is not necessarily much better for sure. So, this has always been like a, a an overarching problem of the German left. Yeah, mm-hmm. so uh, we're getting a new left wing party. It may unfortunately be one of the <laughs> most unfortunate ones. And that's kind of saying a lot in the sense of that then, uh, I don't know. I mean, it comes at a really weird time, too, especially like with like Die Linke's, I mean, this happened before the Israel-Gaza uh, 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 stuff, but um, Die Linke's position on the Ukraine war was definitely something that then was already splitting the party enough to begin with. And now that it's kind of seeing in the sense that then um, particularly... Um, now the, the the you know the Gaza uh, uh, um, you know mm-hmm. Israel's bombing of Gaza has then also had then Dilinka give very shitty answers to that as well to then where I'm seeing a lot of members of Dilinka posting memes about Dilinka dying, oh, which okay. is like I thought you were gonna say memes of like what's going on. I was like Jesus. Fuck. No 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 yeah, no yeah, no yeah. like local out like 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 local people in Dilinka, yeah. uh, particularly <laughs> like uh, Ferran Kochak or like Dan Oikona, Yeah, has I been was, like pretty was... vocal about that. He's like kind of fine with it because Dilinka has so much shitty baggage with mm. their push towards last election. Remember, was to become more like activist oriented as their party. And mm-hmm. actually, there's a very good interview on uh, with uh, Lauren ba- uh, Lauren Ballhorn on Spassbremse a few months ago or so, where Ted and Lauren talked about uh, Die Linke and kind of like the future of the party, this and that and that, or like what the party's problems are, this and that. Um, and it was a very good overview. And I think in the sense that Lauren really touches on this better than I could ever in the sense of how Die Linke always kind of like lost that momentum of being like this like workers party mm-hmm. and you would have their like canvassers go around to the point of being like hi are you a member of the precariat and it's just it's like it's embarrassing it really is where it's like you see then like it's just it just is is is, is kind of a, a a sad excuse it feels like half the time for um like the le- only legitimate left-wing party in this country i mean the spd is like literally passing every single law that they possibly can 
as close to like you know the like uh, you know German blood purity laws as we're getting, and yeah. Die Linke in opposition, who remember for like a split second was like considered of possibly joining in a coalition with the SPD and the Greens. If mm. that to then were have been allowed, however, um, there was kind of a general overarching thing that no one was going to actually go through with that because Dilinka performed so badly. Yeah, like if we if we turn back the clock to like twenty twenty one, that like yeah. the campaign was <clears throat> the campaign was basically. I'm not sure if Dilinka was ever really considered a threat, but like just trying to to punish the SPD and the Greens for ever working with Dilinka, namely in Berlin, um, and just kind of like whip the Greens mostly on a national level into like a don't work with Dilinka kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, and it was definitely a, a a narrative that was very much funneled in through. Uh, german right-wing media you know yeah. it was very much a phoned in sort of thing of like oh yeah like we can't let you know we can't let germany become berlin and it's like <laughs> your underlying problem is like that everyone here like is under a right-wing government and like i don't think it's mm-hmm. the like i don't think it's the possible it's like germany is like a, a fucking casino it feels like half the time especially with just seeing like the newest like i don't know if you guys saw this thing the other day uh, uh yesterday actually the uh the like the supreme court of germany knocked down this like bizarre funding loophole that the coalition tried to do from like leftover corona money yeah. to put it into like uh like climate stuff green stuff mm. it was it was very it was very like it was very not specific but mm. the um like the Bundesverfassungsgericht said that it was like against the law, that it was against the constitution to just like take money that was for something else and just put it for something else. However, then it also like triggered a discussion again about the 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 debt break. No, oh, that thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it's like well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you like like you can't gamble money away for climate shit. That's for like you know other tomfoolery like. I don't know, military <laughs> spending and like, yeah. I don't know, like speculating on the like Wohnungsmarkt or like creating new markets or new loopholes so that then we can do anything but create social housing. Yeah. You know, like, no, no, no. You, what do you mean? Like, no, no, no. That, that, that money's illegal. <laughs> As you see here, this uh, is yeah. Look over money. here while that like literally the entire country is doing fucking tax evasion. Yeah. 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 Um, it's a uh, it's a weird one, I, I guess. The but going back to to what's happening, Dilinka had too many like internal divides, and I guess this has finally collapsed because my memory of twenty twenty one with the whole like movementist wing and workerist wing of Dilinka fighting their solution to that was kind of along the lines of let's just try and ignore this problem Mm -hmm. uh and like pretend and that didn't work because even like people who are not like terribly obsessed with politics could still recognize that Dilinka was falling apart i think the 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 line i used once when we're talking about on spas bremsa of like you don't need to know why a guy is like going through a midlife crisis. You just you can recognize when mm. a guy is going through a midlife crisis. You don't need to know the ins and outs of why. Um, and that was kind of the vibe Yelinka was putting out of just this internal divide. At part, a lot of times stoked by like Vaganek to herself. She like published a book that was like, "Here's why you shouldn't vote for Yelinka," while she was like a member of the party. Um, so that kind of like was weird. But then, well, she saw yeah. the like the like if I did it by O.J. Simpson. She's like, yo, what if yeah, I did that for politics? <laughs> um, and then to to throw in a little skepticism about Big Sarah Vagnett is like we've been here before. Like she did try make um, uh, Aufstehen her like yeah her, yeah yeah um, ironically her movement or like cross party left alliance type thing. Um, yeah. Now, and, hear me hmm. out. All right. Okay. Hear me out. All right. I'm not. This is. A, I'm in no way defending Zavon Connect. I'm in no way defending any of this silliness. I think it is a bit shitty of her to be doing this, especially when like Die Linke or just the left in Germany, 
very much has like tapped out like seven times already and the ref is just not giving a <laughs> shit the, the ref just wants yeah. to see blood clearly um, stop stop he's already dead yeah exactly so Zavagnik like doing this is 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 it, it, in in the moment pretty shit but um it's kind of one of those things too that then it's like now this could all we're going to be talking about this like into the future i mean the more that we go into talking about european elections because their party's going to actually exist and mm. Um, going into you know later German elections or you know German political stuff this and that and that seeing big, how big polling for, a big one for her is next year is the next um, touring and yeah stage exactly elections. so then the thing is that then there's also the, there's always the discussion that then they'll maybe like have it because like the link is not going to disappear as a party having then a second other left wing party could then be this thing that then attracts people who would uh, like you know the the the, the red brown thing. You know, mm. I'm very curious to see if this actually, if the polling is right with the Savag Connect party, because the numbers are stupid high, um, yeah. especially in tying in where she'd be getting like 20% of the vote or something like that. And she'd mm. be stealing it mostly from, from AFD. the AFD. So it's like, if this is some like Savag Connect playing fucking 5D chess with us and she's going to like save the left then you know what I will unfortunately have to give it to someone who I really don't like in her politic that I don't like I understand in the point that she does have problematic features of her Um, however there is no left wing party really in Germany like Mm. Die Linke is a party that then is like I mean they're going to have to regroup there may be then even like other left wing groups that then get people who come and 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 join them instead mm. for like you know like one election cycle or something but who knows but they'll so, still exist in turning and they'll still exist in their strongholds you know um they'll still exist in berlin you know like i think that it'll come down to the sense that they'll just i think that there's a big focus right now too especially within the discussion of that then how a party that then's left wing particularly deals with themselves um one being anti-war, which is something that then Die Linke never actually was good about currently, uh, since mm. they had a, they had no coherent position. It was either a bunch of like mm-hmm. people in like the like more like you know Brandenburg and like the kind of like you know states like like the the, the former East German states having a, a much more like pro-Russian stance uh, to their mm. quote-unquote anti-war thing, which was very confusing and is very much a real thing within that type of the, which is, it's, it's not, it's not even a horseshoe theory thing. It's like, it is like the nostalgia thing of it is a, th- a thing that is, I think kind of like slightly like removed from politics and is more just like lost hope more than anything. There is like, I, there's, there is entire ideological confusion, you know, where the, like the, there are people in like Die Linke who like do support like the DPR you know, who are like the member and like they're just like these like 75 year old like, you know, people in like Brandenburg or whatever. Like that person's real. Like I've met this you go person. Into, you go into someone's apartment. You're like, oh, no, a Confederate flag is like, no, no, you don't understand. No, no, no it's, it's, the it's, the, it's the fallacy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> these people are real. You know, they exist very hmm. much more, I would say, in groups like the like in like the DK, like in like the 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 the, the, the DKP or like the MLPD and whatnot, they're mm. they're much less vocal now, but there there are like little things and like you know but like those things. A more a more concerning problem, which yeah, I'm I'm very concerned. I, I'm I'm kind of I don't think Zara Wagner is going to get rid of this issue, but like the three direct mandates that Die Linke got last election came yeah. from cities, mm-hmm. um, two from Berlin. Um, which kind of indicates more of a pro-Palestinian stance, but then in the exact opposite direction, one from Leipzig, which indicates the other. Oh, yeah, no, uh, the party makes no sense because the party's yeah. dealing with like a million contradictions internally, and it just makes sense that they were going to implode. I mean, it's just, it's too many, the leadership of the party is like trying to become more like, you know, centrist and, and more appealing and a lot of people in the party there's but then also weird simultaneously people going like there's there was a member from the greens who left the greens today and joined Dilinka. so it's like some mm. in some cases maybe that 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 strategy will work for them if like maybe Dilinka will turn into like a more i guess you know just like the spd from what it, like you know the spd before uh 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 like Schröder and all that, but still very much just like a neoliberal left-wing party because that's kind of what they are now, like at least on the top mm-hmm. leadership level of it. 
like Deep Mabash and stuff like that. They're they are more trying to push towards like where the greens were maybe like a decade or so ago. And right. um like a lot of people, especially who are older, don't like that aspect of the party. They still vote for them. They're still members of the party. But remember there's like a lot of local activist groups who don't like the 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 this push from the party. We're seeing like I mean I mentioned um uh Ferrat Klachak, for example. Yeah. Perfect example of someone who's much further left wing than the party heads are. So I mean, it's just it's too many it's too many things happening simultaneously. Maybe this the the maybe the Van Connect thing will have will, will will whip Die Linke into shape. I mean, to be honest, it's like if you're gonna have the position that then that at least like the Bundestag level of the party is gonna be, it's like then that that part of the party just already kind of exists in like the Greens. Like you just want like feel good activism. You just don't want to be seen as being a Green. You want to be seen mm. as being left, like yeah. Dietmar Bosch even comes from the SPD, you know, from Schröder's SPD. So yeah, I, I'm I'm very curious. Um, I'm also a little apprehensive because I, the main thing I always think about, and they've published some dodgy stuff regarding what's happening in the Middle East for sure. But like Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung or the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation is basically like an institution that props up the left in a lot of different countries like without them there in without them there isn't like a left-wing voice in a handful of european countries or like if there is they don't get a lot of money um and that's that's very much tied to the electoral success of die linke isn't it like the money they receive from the german government Oh yeah, like the money yeah. from from that's gonna um is gonna disappear. Sorry, Dietmar Bosch was not part of the SPD. I was thinking of uh, Oscar Lafontaine. Yeah, 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 he's 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. But that's a that's a good update. We should get like someone who knows the yeah. interparty stuff. I think a bit better. Uh, Lauren it, would be a good guest. Actually, yeah, yeah. But. I'm there's I'm sh- surely there would be someone close enough to a million people people (laughs) willing to come on and talk to about this but yeah no i mean it'll be interesting i mean the thing it it sucks because like die linke is a party that then if i could vote in germany i would support them but Mm. it's like they're also like ideologically so fuck but i i like them more so because like their local level politics their bundestag level politics is kind of like that like you know they have to exist on the Bundestag level, but I'd wish that they wouldn't do it in this regard because they they yeah. the thing about them is that on I, I would say on the Bundestag level is that they kind of every like bad take that they like the German left kind of has is like personified there. <laughs> yeah, but that's that is like what that is kind of what happened with the direct mandate yeah. stuff is like everyone who voted for Die Linke voted for them because of local shit. Like the 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 national Delinka in the last election was very unimpressive. Yeah, yeah. But well, anyway, we will anyway. be you know filling you more uh, filling you in more with that uh, you know spicy drama. You know, <laughs> our, uh, our again, like I said, girl boss of the of the oh, of the months, the past three months. But yeah, sure. Yeah, we, we've had some we've had some girl bosses. Yeah, no, true. Von der Leyen. <laughs> Yeah, that fucking Mount so Rushmore. That, Could you imagine that? That one woman who ran from the Spanish police. Yeah, <laughs> Ursula von der Leyen. That woman who ran from the police. Zavagnest. Yeah. And I don't know. That's that's my Mount Rushmore, baby. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Maloney, Maloney getting divorced. Maloney, She's yeah, striking Maloney out. getting divorced. She's on her own yeah. now. Just a just a real group that of winners. Was, that's crazy that she like. Got divorced because he was asking for threesomes or something. <laughs> yes, yeah. He was just being Italian, as we discussed yeah. about with, yes. with with Milo. Yeah, because he was he was he was doing like every character from House of Gucci in a in a work and, day. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, with that, we uh, uh, will catch you on the bonus feed. Do we have anything to plug or shout out? No. Mm-mm. No. Okay. Uh, donation link for Medical Aid Palestine in the, in the description. Mm-hmm. Other than that, um, uh, I love you. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> How do I end podcasts? Bye. I love Bye. you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>